three major reasons why you are not able to become an automation tester. In this video, I'm going to explain you how easy it is in 2024, your target as a fresher, no IT person or a manual tester, how you can to become an automation tester, right? Which are the three mistakes, major mistakes that you are basically doing and how you can fix that and how I was able to switch from the manual to automation when I wanted to, right? Guys, to be honest, Python is one of the easiest language right now in the market where any fresher, no IT person or a manual tester who's thinking, who have a coding fear, who have no idea about topics, who have no idea about which projects they have to do and how exactly they have to do, right? Exactly, you can to achieve and you can to become an automation tester if you follow the three, exactly the point that I'm going to discuss about today. All right, so let's get started. First of all, the first major problem is promoter, which programming language we need to choose. I think the easiest answer is if you are comfortable with Python, right? I think Python is one of the easiest language right now, but there is a myth, right? Promoter, but I have a coding fear. How do I remove the coding fear, right? It's the same problem that we have basically encountered also. If you don't know, I have basically done two successful batches of Python automation blueprint batch of 0x and 1x, where we have taught more than 1000 plus students. And if you have seen the testimonials, I'm going to put a link here also about the Neelam and other people, right? They are success. They are, they also had a coding fear, but how we have removed this because of the topics and roadmap, they don't know the topics exactly, right? So if you target properly Python, right? Python overall is this big, but you don't have to learn this much of the for to become an automation tester. What you need to do is you have to learn about this set of automation in for the Python programming language, which I am done to say, plus the coding interview question, which is more than 100 plus coding questions that we have to do that we are basically that we have done in the Python automation blueprint batch. And that's why people are able to crack. These are the exact automation question that basically guys have 12 plus years experience. So I have added as much in as much questions of programming, which basically generally most of the people generally ask, for example, it can be right triangle, left triangle printing and other things and all. Plus not only that we have added 15 plus lead code challenges also so that your confident become more high. Now the people who are basically have this problem, right? Coding fear and everything. I'm pretty much sure all of you can do it if you start from beginner level, right? I have given you the exactly topics also which topics we have to follow. All right. So first thing is clear. Second important thing is for most of how much time we should take basically take to become an automation tester and which projects we have to do. So I think in the Python automation blueprint batch generally we discussed that almost three months is enough if you daily give one hour per day to learn about Python programming, API automation and Selenium overall with the live projects that you are going to do. So overall roadmap I have given to you if you want to see this roadmap is already available link in the description. Our target is if you give us 100 like and 100 comment just give me yes in the chat. We will will basically put this publicly. I will put this uh, publicly so that you can download and you can keep it also. Because I think guys, to be honest, if you are manual tester or fresher or who are targeting for software testing on an automation job, right? 2024 should be your target to become an automation tester. I'm pretty much sure because many of my students have done it. I have taught more than 6,000 students guys last year and I was able to achieve this because I am pretty much sure they, those guys have believed in me and I am pretty much sure who people, the people who are watching through this, you can do it too guys. I was was also from a known IT background. I have never touched coding, but still after 12 years, I am working as a asset manager where I'm handling more than 30 plus people who are automation engineers. So if I can do it, you can do it too. I'm pretty much sure. So which are the projects we need to work, right? So project wise, I think website for practice, this link, I will share you also this link in the description where I have given which websites you have to do for automation, web automation, mobile testing, API automation, all these projects I have basically publicly done. These are open source projects and many of them, you can already talk to them, right? Or you can already basically add them into your resume also, right? Now the problem with the resume, I think in the, in the Python automation blueprint batch, we have done two uh, workshops related to resume review and LinkedIn, where we have created this kind of resume, which works very, very well. That's the same resume. Basically I was able to, this same resume worked in Wingify, Tikio and Browse Tech and many, many multinational companies. So if you follow this proper format and proper keyword strategy, right? This one, I'm pretty much sure you can achieve it too. So three, core problems of coding fear, live projects and resume fixes, right? I'm pretty much sure all of you can do it too. And Python is one of the easiest language. Guys, this is the time now take a call that if you manual testers, now it's time to jump into the automation because many, many companies are jumping and they are basically hiring for automation testers directly, right? So you will basically may face some issues into to getting a job. So as a automation tester, you will get a high salary, decent work. And I'm pretty much sure a good, decent work culture also side by side that you can see, right? So that's why a uh, January batch of auto, uh, Python automation blueprint 2x batch is also getting launched Monday to Friday live zoom classes. If you are serious enough, you want to learn with me link in the description to do, do check it out. It 
so 65 hours of content where we are covering python from scratch i'm assuming you have zero knowledge in python api automation and web automation with the more than five plus live projects that we are going to do we are going to create our automation framework as well as we are going to create our resume plus the mock interviews that we are going to do and i'm pretty much sure you can too become an audition tester this is our target if you want to achieve like like link in the description do check it out i'll see you in the live classes thanks a lot and this was three ways you can basically to become an automation tester i hope this helps all the links will be available in the pinned comment make sure you give a like and a comment yes in the chat so that i can release all the resources for free which you wanted do check out the python automation 2x branch also if you are interested do join with me work with me let me help you to become an automation tester more than 6000 people can do it you can do it too if i can do it i think you can do it too i'm pretty much sure it is that you which is stopping yourself to become an automation tester okay thanks a lot for watching bye bye this is your host pramod see you in the live classes Thank you.